Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene. In today's video, we'll be multiplying two-digit numbers by two-digit numbers. I will first explain step by step what we are doing and then I will do two complete examples with you. So let's use this example and I will explain step by step how we will do this multiplication. So the first thing I want you to do is write these numbers exactly underneath each other. So we have 15 and our 43 and we're going to multiply. So remember when you're writing these numbers underneath each other, make sure that you keep the ones exactly underneath each other and also the tens so that when you are doing this multiplication, you don't get confused along the way because you didn't do it properly from the start. So make sure you write it neatly underneath each other. And now, if I told you to go ahead and multiply 15 by 43, that would be really hard. That is why we break it down step by step to make it a lot easier for ourselves. So let me show you how. So when you're multiplying by a two digit number, you're going to take that bottom number, that two digit number, and you're going to break it up so that we have three and 40. So if it's a bit confusing to you when I'm explaining, don't worry about it. You'll see now exactly what I mean. So we are going to start with the 3 and we're going to multiply the 3 by the 15 and that answer we're going to write exactly underneath our multiplication sum. Then we move on to the 40. Then we're going to multiply the 40 with the 15 and we'll write that answer exactly underneath our first answer. So we have two answers now and then we're going to add those two answers to get our final answer so this is going to make it a lot easier so just to recap we first take the 3 we multiply it with the 15 and then we take the 40 we multiply it with the 15 and we add those two together and then we have the answer for 15 times 43 now let's do this exact example together so we start with 15 times 43 and it's already written nice and neatly underneath each other. So the first thing we said we're doing is we are going to times the 3 with the 15. So we start with the 1s. So 3 times 5 is 15. So we write down our 5 and we take our 10 to the 10s place and we write down the 1 there. And now we're going to times the 3 with the 1. So 3 times 1 is 3. And we need to add that 1. So 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. And we write that down. So now we have the answer for 3 times 15. So now we need to get the answer for 40 times 15. Now before we times, there's two things I want you to remember. First of all, we already multiplied with the 3. So we need to scratch out that 1 because we are done with that. And the second thing I want you to remember is we are multiplying by 40. Not by 4, but by 40. So because we are busy with the tens place value, we need to add a 0 in our answer line before we start multiplying. And now that we are done writing down the zero, now we can just multiply the digits. So what is four times five? That is 20. So you write down the zero and you carry the 20 to the tens place. And now we multiply four by one. And four times one is four, but remember we carried over that two, that we still need to add. So four times one is four, plus 2 is 6. So now we have our answer for 40 times 15. So 40 times 15 is 600. So now you know why it's so important for us to write down the zero before we start to multiply the digits. Because we are not multiplying 4 by 15, but we are multiplying 40 by 15. So 4 times 15 will only be 60. 
but 40 times 15 is 600. So now you can see why that is so important. So now that we have our answer for 3 times 15 and our answer for 40 times 15, we just need to add those two together to get our final answer. So 5 plus 0 is 5, 4 plus 0 is 4, and we only have 6 in the hundreds place, so that is 6. And that is our final answer. So 15 times 43 is 645. Now let's look at our second example. Here we have 54 times 76. So now you write your numbers neatly exactly underneath each other with your multiplication. So the first thing we do is we break up that bottom number and we're going to multiply separately with 6 and with 70. So 6 times 54 is what we'll do first. So first we multiply the 1s. So 4 times 6 is 24, so the 4 we write down, but the 20 we need to take over to the tens place. And now we multiply 6 by 5, and 6 times 5 is 30, but we need to add that 2, so that is 32. And because we only have two digit numbers, we don't have hundreds to carry the 3 over 2, so that's why we write it directly next to the 2. So it's underneath our hundreds value. So now we multiply the 70 by 54. So remember the first thing we do is we scratch out that 2 because we are done with multiplying with the 6 just so that we don't confuse ourselves. And then because we are multiplying by 70 and not by 7, we need to add the 0 in our answer line to make sure we are multiplying by 70 and not just by 7. So now that I've written my 0, I can start just multiplying the digit. So 7 times 4 is 28, so we write down our 8, but we carry our 20 to the tens, and now we multiply 5 and 7, and 5 times 7 is 35, but remember we still need to add the 2, so 35 plus 2 is 37. So now we have the answer for 6 times 54, and also the answer for 70 times 54. So now that we have both that answers, we can add them to get our final answer. So 4 plus 0 is 4. 2 plus 8 is 10, so we write down our 0, we take the 1 over. 3 plus 7 is 10, plus that 1 is 11, so we write down our 1, we carry over the other 1. And now we only have the 3 plus that 1 is 4. So 54 times 76 is 4104. Okay guys, that was two quick examples. If you feel like you need some more practice, I made a worksheet with a memo. You can just go down to the description box below and you can download the worksheet with the memo to go and practice multiplication some more. And if you haven't already and this video helped you, please remember to like this video and also to subscribe to my channel and then I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.